Hello everybody and welcome back to the Crypto Moses channel. Today's video is very, very, very well put together and here's why it's important for you to watch. We need to understand the fundamentals with the actual TA to understand where Bitcoin and some of these larger cryptos are moving. So, so today we're going to go over specifically what's going on in the market. We're going to go over how the U.S. election is supposed to be able to drive big, big changes to exactly what's happening with Bitcoin and many of the big cryptos. And, and we want to talk about how this is going to basically impact the future of our country. Now, all right, here's the thing. We all do understand that these upcoming elections are going to be so freaking critical for the price of Bitcoin. I mean, we went to Bitcoin Nashville. We saw Donald Trump talking about it right now. A majority of his campaign is running off the fact that he's going to support and have regulations made for crypto. And with things like that being spewed and said by the government, I think that it's going to open a lot of big eyes into it. I mean, and let's even think about what Trump just did. He just opened his own token. I understand it's not directly his. He's an affiliate. Da, 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 da. I get a way to protect himself but at the end of the day that is what's happening and it has not cracked the 300 million that they're waiting for so that also could bring a bad negative sentiment to the market now this is probably the craziest part with his chances of winning has increased significantly the chance of victory right now is at 60 percent and that's a huge that's a landslide you guys that is a landslide difference between many of the other previous campaigns that we've seen in this presidential elections like he's demolishing her which is crazy and i think it's because of all of us bitcoin lovers right but besides how this election is just gonna impact bitcoin we also see articles like this basically splitting it on between getting the 125k or a 40k btc outlook 40k would suck but 40k gives me an opportunity to buy more right and 125k that would maybe signify the top my hope is that it doesn't and I hope it blows past that. I just don't know where the liquidity would come from. Now, on average, the panelists there think that Bitcoin will be worth 77K or more by the end of 2024, which is a feasible, actually a very, very much so feasible prediction. And they estimate that would be down from the 87K as they had predicted in their July report. So, so they lowered it down by 10K. I could see why, because Bitcoin really hasn't shot up like we were all shooting for in the past couple of months. But the, the bear market isn't here so i right now we're in this weird sentiment even when we're like looking at the chart like it's got a lot of um downtime but then we get a lot of good little trend run-ups like this that get us back up to 68.8 right i don't think that volatility is going to stop which is the value of bitcoin and the value of crypto that's why we're in meme tokens because meme tokens have the potential to do 10 200 300x in a day so that's really in my opinion that the main value of crypto and we should be proud that it's able to do that but when we see analysts like this see that it's bullish predictions 125k by the end of 2024 and it's bearish prediction dropping about 40k that's still great numbers i mean i'm way beyond before like 40k entrance and i hope many of you guys are too so just just make sure it's part of your long or short-term plan but also do understand that there's a lot of analysts out there that still have a lot of good faith for it and some of the the, the bearish outlooks are still not as bad i mean i just believe as long as we don't hit under 40k or under 20k we're not going to see a big crash and i was proven wrong last time um I had said if we don't get under 5k we won't get a big crash well we got down to 3300 and people made millions off of that change for bitcoin you know now another really 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 good article that i love today was this is what bitcoin's price needs to hit an all-time high and i love this because it breaks down the math of exactly what the liquidity would be needed to get it to where it should be and realistically speaking it's not that bad of numbers we do see anyway right now that the net transfer volume into exchanges was around 12,000, right? BTC, that's a lot of Bitcoin and, and 12,000 Bitcoin being brought in for an inflow. Usually that signifies that there's less chances of people selling, right? And it says it right there. It's, it's a bullish signal because it suggests that there's a, they're not planning to sell. Now, rising net inflows to exchanges can also imply that some holders are preparing to sell their BTC, which would lead to some selling pressure. And again, remember, the higher the selling pressure, the higher the drop, but that's just how all markets work. Now, it's, this is a very, very good end line. If Bitcoin can break the resistance of the 68K, and we can see that right here, if we can just break that all the way through, 
um, then it has a potential to rise further and probably read 70K. And that would maybe get it to start making some new all-time highs. But on the downside, um, if the trend does reverse all the way, Bitcoin could retest the support level of 62K. And if we look at the chart here, we do see that 62K was an old important point that's why like remember you guys that the dotted lines means that they've had a lot of touch points over time and you'll learn my charts over time and then even down to 61k and 59k had a lot of hits and so did 58k so those tend to be the big big supports so what we know right now is even if we do get a big hit down in the market we get a big market downturn our supports we're looking at are around 62 and down to 58 right so just be a little patient. Make sure you've got your chart up and you're watching the market. Uh, don't rush. It's okay. It's crypto. I know it moves fast. Um, you need to be able to move fast on the computer, but you don't need to be making quick decisions that are emotionally created. They need to be logical. So just be patient. Keep watching the market. Click that subscribe button. We'll find more tokens and I'll give you guys some updates. I'll see you on the next one.